I made a big mistake when I bought this shoe and honestly, I wasn't even thinking. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I messed up and hopefully you can prevent yourself from doing the same thing I did. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, join the family, join the squad, and you already know what to do. Smash the like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So I know a lot of people make mistakes buying shoes over the years, and this is a mistake that I have never personally made before. But with the new era of buying sneakers online and how things are working, I just simply messed up and I wasn't paying attention. Three of the most common things that you hear when people talk about making mistakes purchasing sneakers are typically what? They get scammed buying a fake pair of shoes shoes or they pay way too much for a pair of shoes and they go down in value and they were like damn I paid overpriced I should have never done that or they even get themselves in a situation where the shoe is at a great deal and they didn't realize that it was gonna go up in value next thing you know months go by and they're like damn I wish I would have bought that shoe when I had the chance to get it for the low price that it was so for me in this situation we're kind of talking about pricing right I got this pair off of stock X so let's go ahead and look at the receipt and see how much I spent on these my purchase price was $263 processing fee was seven dollars and 89 cent and shipping was thirteen dollars and 95 cent and the total price came out to be 284 dollars and 84 cent for a size 13 japan co air jordan one now we know retail for this sneaker was 170 dollars so that means basically i spent a little over 110 dollars for this sneaker right here above the retail value but in my mindset i thought hey this shoe is going to go up in value and could potentially be worth four or five hundred dollars give it some time so even even if I spend close to $300 now, if I waited longer down the road, I'm probably going to end up spending more money on it. So I might as well just pull the trigger because I really want this shoe. So this shoe in particular released a couple months ago on August 7th, 2020. So I waited, I waited, I waited. I said, hey, I'll give it a month. I'll see if I can find this shoe in the local market or get a good price on a pair that I want. But a lot of people are asking close to 300 bucks. And I was like, huh, maybe I'll just put a bid in on StockX. Maybe if the price goes down, somebody will accept it and I'll get them for around 200 60 plus fees and everything that's like 280 bucks all right cool i'm willing to pay that price so a month after the release i was finally able to get my pair for that price that i just told you guys about so typically a couple months after the hype dies down from a sneaker release the price tends to go down as well so i put a bid in at 260 bucks saying okay i think the price will go down you know somebody will eventually bite on it and then they did after the offer was accepted typically it could take one to two weeks for the shoe to finally get to you after the verification process and everything that goes on with StockX, the seller shipping to them, them shipping back to you, all those different things. So another couple weeks goes by and I finally get the shoe in hand. I'm very, very happy. And now the kind of resale value is around that price where I just purchased it at. Again, I plan to hold these for a very long time and keep them on my collection. I really look forward to rocking these. And if I end up getting a second pair, I wouldn't be mad, but I wanna make sure that I get that second pair for a really good price. So if you look at the current price today of this shoe, it's kind of roughly around 240 bucks. So that's $23 under what I originally put my bid in a month ago. That $20, honestly, for the time doesn't really matter to me because I'm not really tripping like, oh, you lost 20 bucks type thing. Because again, long play, I think these are gonna be worth a lot of money. If you give it a year or two, these are gonna be hitting for a good amount of money. So now the people ask me, where did you actually mess up? What's the problem? I don't get it. This is the problem. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I messed this up. So I just got another package in the mail and let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This right here is the Air Jordan 1 Japan Co. Again, this pair right here is a size 12 and a half. I forgot that I put a bid in on a size 13 and a size 12 and a half. I won the bid on a 13, got my pair in the mail, and completely forgot that the bid stay up for 30 or 60 days or whatever it may be, and I had my bid still live and active for a size 12 and a half. This was very undervalued at the time because they wanted even more for size 12 and a halfs because they're harder to find than they are 13. So a week and a half ago, I had a notification on my phone and it said that I had just got the Air Jordan 1 in a size 12 and a half. And I was so confused and then it popped in my head, bruh, I forgot to delete my offer. So now I have two pairs of the Air Jordan 1, Japan Co, and a size 13 and a 12 and a half. 
Initially, I already wanted to double up, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the full resale price on both pairs and hoping that maybe I could find that second pair used or for a lower price down the line. And I actually ended up spending the same exact amount of money for both pairs of shoes. Oh no, I take that back. These were $3 cheaper. So I spent 260 bucks on the second pair and I was able to save $3 in total to $281.75. So the reason why I made this video is I want to show you guys, yes, you can find good deals or you can get the sneaker that you want at the price that you wanna get it, but make sure when you put your offers in on StockX or Goat or anything like that, be sure to take those offers down after you win that first bid for the size that you want because then you could potentially get stuck with buying multiple pairs of shoes and if that's something that you cannot afford or you just simply didn't want to do it you're gonna be like damn bro what do i do now because if you sell this shoe on StockX for the price that you got it for technically you're gonna lose money because you're gonna have to pay fees and everything like that and then you're gonna be getting back 220 something 230 something dollars for the original 280 dollars that you spent for the shoe after shipping after fees and all that stuff so you get what i'm saying right there i don't want people to make that same mistake me personally i'm happy that i have both of these and i don't have to worry about it down the road did i want to spend this exact price for these two shoes no but at the same time i'm glad that i got my second pair now i can easily throw a pair in my rotation start rocking them keep the other pair on ice i'm assuming that they're going to go up in value and if you have the strategy of one to rock and one to stock this is the perfect situation for that because typically we know when you stock a pair of shoes for a year two years three years down the line it will double or even triple sometimes quadruple in price and you will make all that money back if you just simply hold on to a pair of shoes so for a situation like this that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rock a pair and I'm gonna stock a pair. Drop a comment if you have made the same mistake I did, either buying doubles or putting an offer in, forgetting about it, it comes through and you're like, bro, I didn't even, I forgot I even wanted those. That type of situation, I get it. I've heard it happen to a lot of people and it's happening to me now. With these new apps with StockX and Goat and all these different things, it's just different. It's a whole new marketplace with buying and selling and all these different things. I'm used to just hitting up a homie, be like, hey, I need these, da da da, whoop de whoop. Next thing you know, I got a pair coming in the mail or I'm picking them up locally. And now it's just a whole different world. I wanted to try out the whole buy them off of StockX thing. I purchased shoes off of StockX before. I'm not saying it burned me or anything like that, but you gotta make sure that you're always aware of these situations so it doesn't happen to you. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this made a little bit of sense. And uh, let me just pull my two pairs up hello you know what i'm saying <laughs> i still got my two pairs uh and these is definitely going in my top 10 pickups of 2020 bro honestly i really love this shoe if you guys want to see a full review or anything like that let me know in the comment section i'll give you guys a review i know it's a little bit late but i really really love this shoe so that's my time my name is dj i got to go i'm gone oh yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and uh yeah i'm out peace <laughs>if you enjoyed any of this information please check out the link down below pinned in the comment section that will get you over to my course where it talks plenty about buying selling trading all the different things of growing your collection making extra money on the side and turning your hobby into a hustle so i hope you guys enjoyed this my name is dj if you do sign up i'll see you in the course there's also private access to the private facebook group as well for all the members that are in the course once you get entered so i'll see you there if you want to join all right y'all i'm out